I wanted to share some links um, that I have been looking at um, just on the topic of Monsanto. Okay, first link I'm going to include is um, a film I think everybody should watch. If you've not seen it, um, um, watch it. It's called The World Ac According to Monsanto. It's a documentary done by a French lady um, with some backing by the Canadian Film Board or something like that. So it's it's um, it's um, a good two hour long look at Monsanto, their business practices and basically at what a bunch of bastards they are. Breaking news on Monsanto, February 10th, 2009. Monsanto um, said on Tuesday that they see 2009 as being Roundup's peak year. Um, its growing biotech seeds and trait lines should make up make, should more than make up for an unexpected decline in its popular Roundup line after the herbicide's business peaks this year. Um, basically, um, Monsanto are very much focusing on their seeds business because those of you who've been following it, um, they sold their um, cow hormone side of the business to Eli Lilly. I'm um, not sure if I pronounced that right. They're a global pharmaceutical company, so they sold that off in August last year, 2008. So seeds are very much where the heart is for Monsanto this year, and they're seeing it as uh, being a peak year for Roundup. So I've included a link to that. Uh, Monsanto and legislation um, are very much in bed together. Um, there's a lot of laws and patents, etc., that basically make sure that. Monsanto have the whole market sewn up in terms of seeds. Their practices pretty much include buying other seed companies, closing them down and then offering the only choice of GM seeds to farmers. Um, have a look at India um, of what the results of that is. Um, there's an article um, headed Monsanto investigator in Illinois laughs they are doing rural cleansing. Um, this is from the opednews.com uh, website. Um, basically there's a guy called Steve Hickson and he's a seed cleaner in southern Illinois. Um, his equipment basically takes um, the plant materials and cleans it so that seeds are separated out and they can be given back to farmers um, to save for the next season. Um, it's slightly easier on farmers than, than them having to, to pick, hand pick seeds off their own plants. Um, you know, so. Um, Essentially, every farmer that has been using Mr. Hickson's services are being hit with writs by Monsanto. Um, that's anywhere up to 400 farmers. Um, they've basically walked in and had a nice rifle through Steve Hickson's um, paperwork and books and found the list of farmers who've been coming to him. Um, seed cleaning is pretty much um, outlawed now um, all across the US. Um, it's one more way for the Monsanto crowd to have an, an iron grip. So there's some more links. The multiple ways Monsanto is putting normal seeds out of reach, um, which includes links to Monsanto seed laws, um, which they dub the brainchild of Vilzak. Who is Vilzak? Well, I've included some links about Vilzak. Um, he's a boy to be watching in 2009. Obama has chosen him as agricultural secretary. Um, and he has been a long-term lobbyist for Monsanto. He's one of their buddies, um, and is is um, is bad news essentially for American farming and global farming. So have a look at him. Um, I've even included his MySpace if you want to go and add him as a friend and then leave him a comment. Maybe that might be good. Um, Vilsack lobbied hard to get seed preemption bills into state legislative bodies beginning in 2005. These bills seek to control the use of seeds on the state level and thus deny local communities and small farmers, and even backyard farmers, the power to establish their own regulations for protection from genetically engineered seeds. Hmm. If seed preemption bills become law, citizens will not be able to regulate where genetically engineered crops are grown, the creation of GE buffer zones, or the banning of pharmaceutical crops, among other, among other things. The use of seeds becomes entirely regulated by the government and opens the door to human and plant exposure to every adverse effect of genetically engineered crops. And simultaneously ruins biodiversity because one transgenic seed prevails. There's no going back. Um, 
seed preemption bills have been introduced in 16 states and the battle is ongoing. But Vilzak has been one of the chief architects of looming biodiversity disaster and there's no reason to believe he'd halt his love affair with genetic engineering and big AG just because he's working for Obama. Um, I've included um, a link to a map showing where those laws were in effect. Have a look. Another article, quite funny, on February 12th. Um, French food agency says GM corn from Monsanto safe. There's an article on CNN's money site. Um, Paris. France's food watchdog said Thursday it had concluded that genetically modified corn from US biotech giant Monsanto Co. is safe, <clears throat> contradicting an earlier report that had led to a ban on the corn. An AFSSA report, which became public after it was revealed in the French daily Le Figaro, angered environmentalists and embarrassed President Nicolas Sarkozy's government, which had resorted to a special European Union measure to outlaw the crops. The agency said there was no evidence to support the view that MON810, the only strain of GM corn under cultivation in France before the, van, the ban, um, posed a health risk. Basically, Sarkozy's government slapped a ban on GM crops in February last year after a panel of experts said in a separate report that they had serious doubts about the Monsanto product. So we've seen a bit of a U-turn there. Um, hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Um, I don't particularly know very much about agriculture. I'm not the farming type, um, but I find this this intriguing. There's a, I guess you could call it a, um, a good practice guideline that they want um, UK farmers to stick to. Um, and I just wanted to draw your attention to something called the GAEC 12. Basically GAEC stands for Good Agricultural and sorry, Good Agricultural and, and Environmental Condition. Um, it pertains to fallow land, so it's land that's that's that is good agricultural land but not currently in use. So it may be used for grazing, it may be used for um, just leaving, leaving, giving, giving the land a rest um, between crop, you know, crop rotations. Making sure that the farmers do their part to get rid of um, troublesome plants and at the same time um, cultivate good plants um, like yarrow and things like that that um, promote biodiversity and help save the honeybee and um, flora and fauna. The EU had laws that were very tight on the use of pesticides um, on fallow land and I've, I've included a link to what looks like a relaxing of the GAEC 12 to allow um, farmers to use Monsanto products on fallow land um, in certain cases which is interesting. Straight after that I'm putting a link about um, extensive GM contamination of honey. Um, hmm, it was an article I found on GM Watch, a European site, um, and it says a German magazine has had honey tested and found extensive GM com contamination. Um, in 2008 media reports showcased the various impacts of environmental contamination on bees and beekeepers. In, the Ger in Germany's Baden-Württemberg state, 500 million bees died in spring due to the insecticidal seed treatment agent Clothianidin. Hmm, I don't know how to pronounce that. Another example is the case of a Swabian beekeeper who destroyed his whole honey harvest because it contained pollen of the GM corn MON810. That's the same corn that, um, that France had just done a U-turn on. Um, that was after the he, he destroyed his whole harvest after the administrative court declared the honey as non-marketable. The GM content in honey neither has to be approved nor labelled. So essentially, labelling will not be compulsory for honey, even if it's got GM residues in it and pesticide residues in it, which is kind of worrying. Um, so when you add that to the whole, oh, Scottish farmers and Welsh farmers can now start planting a little bit more GM in their fallow lands. Um, it's more than worrying because it's going, it, it's um, not good. So no wonder um, Monsanto are feeling confident about 2009.